What's going on everybody? What's going on? Dom from the Game Looters here and today I want to talk about a very special game that you probably haven't played given any time to or given any time to think about but I'm here to tell you this is a game that not only in 2019 you should play but this is a game that you need to play if you are a PlayStation 4 owner. So today we're here to talk about Judgment. Uh, Judgment is a game set in the Yakuza world uh, made by the developers over at Sega and, and their team. And this follows a person by the name of Yagami. Now Yagami is a previous lawyer turned detective for several different reasons and the story basically follows him on him trying to solve uh, a case a murder case specifically and it goes chapter by chapter so that's what we're here to talk about today is is this a game is it worth it is this a game you should buy is this a game you should consider in 2019 is this a game you should consider being on the watch maybe for a sale or is this one that you should just skip? But really, I just want to tell you a little bit about it because you may not know that it exists. It may not have been on your radar. It may have just came out and gone, which more than likely is what happened. But that's kind of what we're here to talk about uh, today. Now, real quick, before we get into the video, you do have a job. Make sure you guys like the video if you do like it. And make sure you subscribe because it would really, really help us out over here at the Game Looters. Uh, we are on grow mode and we would definitely love if you to join our community. Uh, join our Discord in the links uh, down below. Uh, come chat with us. We do live streams. We do reviews just like this. We do podcasts uh, Thursdays at 8 p.m. Pacific time. So we do tons of stuff. So make sure you guys uh, make sure you subscribe. Let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we are here on uh, on judgment right now, and we are are uh, on on a case currently. So, I think the first spot that I want to start talking about the game really is its uh, linearity. Now, uh, a lot of times when you hear uh, a linear game, that may that may put you off a little bit, but what I want to do is I want to talk about the linearity in a good way in this game. I want to talk about the linear linearity being a a good thing. Uh, also, here we are we're on the sticks right now, so we'll go ahead and and we'll play. So let's go ahead and return to the Yagami Detective Agency. And as you guys can see here, we have a really big map. This is the map of Kamurocho, which is a city that the game is based in. And there's a lot of stuff to do. Now, obviously, uh, it can get a little overwhelming by the amount of stuff. But really, a lot of this, you don't even need to really be attentive to. Uh, a lot of this is completely and a thousand percent optional for you. So if, if you don't want to do most or a lot of this, then you don't necessarily have to. But the city is really, it's big, it's lively, it's breathing. But back to the linearity. So, every so often... There's a game that comes out that, um, wrong way. There's a game that comes out that is, is linear in the best way. And I think in this day and age, we get so lost in the fact that you need a lot to explore, a lot to do. You need to validate your $60 purchase. And what Judgment does is... It gives you an open world feel, as you guys saw that big map, with a lot of different things to do. And, I mean, you can go play video games at an arcade, you can go fish, uh, you can hit the club, you can hit restaurants, you can do one of my favorite things, which is gamble. You can go and, uh, and play blackjack or poker, uh, which is really fun, right? So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do within the world. Or, you can skip all of that. And just do the normal A to B, which is just story A to story B to story C and so, so on and so forth. And that's pretty fulfilling as well. Now, uh, if you want to, we got some baddies here. Now, if you want to, uh, you know, get the full breadth of the game, then obviously you don't necessarily have to do everything. But I would suggest doing some of the side missions, building relationships, getting friends, 
uh, becoming friends with uh, store owners and restaurant owners and things like that because they they do bring to fruition a lot of stuff that is very beneficial in the game. But uh, what going back to the linearity part of it is this is one of the things I love the most about the game is its linearity. Is It basically says, okay, you are done with chapter one. Oh, now we're going to go on to chapter two. And then it recaps and says, this is what happened in chapter one. Now we're on to chapter two, uh, yada, yada, right? And it keeps pushing the story forward. And you keep, much like a movie, you keep wanting to know what's going to happen next. Uh, you keep wanting to know, like, what's going to happen to Yagami, which is the main character here. Uh, you keep wanting to know, like, what's going to be the next thing that I have to go and cover. What's the next mystery? What's the next uh, subject that I have to go investigate? And it keeps pushing the story forward. And uh, I actually really love that. I love the linearity of it because there are games uh, like Zelda or Horizon that I've been playing recently or Days Gone or, I mean, the, Spider-Man. The list goes on and on to where it's just a blank slate open world. And there's a ton of open world games, Ubisoft, right? So there's a ton of open world games. And it's nice to have a game that has a direction but has that feel sprinkled on top of it and this game does that very well it's like okay here it leads you to the story which is fantastic this story is really good don't let anybody else tell you this story is really good it's really engaging and it makes this is the reason i keep playing the game is because of the story being so dang good uh, I just keep playing because I'm just like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Now, there's a lot of, of repetitive stuff in the game, of course. Uh, there's a lot of fights that, that happen randomly that are repetitive. There's there's certain things that are repetitive. But overall, like the game, let's rest up. The game really does, uh, you know, set that story bar and it really pushes the story forward. And chapter over chapter over chapter, it just does such a good job of really breaking down the story in a way that you really want to continue playing the game period the end so uh, i won't spoil what the game's necessarily about again it is about murder uh it is about a murder case and again you are a detective uh but lawyer turned detective okay um second thing then let's talk about is uh, the combat now in the game i can't do combat right now but you guys saw that little clip a little bit earlier uh meet hoshino okay let's go you guys saw that clip earlier of the combat. Now, the combat's really good. You have two different styles. Uh, you have a style that is meant as, like, a crowd diffuser. Uh, and then you have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, style, a fighting style. And the fighting actually feels really, really good. The fighting feels really solid. And you have branches that you can build out and you can earn XP and you can get uh, your fighting style up and everything like that. The fighting is really good, and once you know what you're doing, it's actually super engaging and super fun. And I actually don't mind the repetitiveness of the gangsters, uh, the Yakuza that you constantly find everywhere. Uh, I really like that uh, Sega decided to to have such a unique fighting thing. And there's even like a drunken style. Uh, make sure you guys go check out twitch.tv slash thegamelooters or Twitter. You follow us at thegamelooters. I, I put some clips on there uh, that were very cool. Uh, I thought that uh, there's some specific scenes that happen in the game that's, that's pretty freaking awesome. So hopefully we can show off some more combat right now. So uh, right off the gate, just so you know, combat is awesome. Combat feels good. Uh, now going into the visuals, as you guys can see here, I mean, the visuals are top notch. Uh, right now we are shooting this. Hey, no, we'll go take on these bad guys here. We are shooting this right now in 1080p because that's what our capture card is limited to. But if you have a, here's the combat right now. Let's go ahead. Let's go. So we can we can block here, and then we can uh, we can swap we can swap the modes the fighting style. So I'm in the one on one mode, and then we want to swap fighting styles here, and then now we have more of a crowd control style that lends itself into uh, one on one and whatever else, right? So uh, that is really cool. So going back to what I was saying, so we're playing this in 1080p right now. Because that's what our capture card is limited to. But if you have the uh, PlayStation 4 Pro like we do, this game looks fantastic uh, on the PlayStation 4 Pro. I think they really maximize 
the graphical fidelity of it and from his hair movements to the way Kamurocho of the city is is laid out it this is one of the most living breathing worlds that I can really say I've ever been a part of now there is a little pop in like that but as you can see like all of these people like it really feels like they really put an extra care on top of it and although uh, this isn't all of Japan, this is all of Tokyo, whatever. The work that they put into Kamurocho and the city, let's fight these guys, the, the city, right, is, is, is just so good. It's just so good, and it's so, like, well designed and well thought out that I am extremely pleased with the visual fidelity of the game. Um, the lighting reflections of the game, if that's what you're into, is really top-notch, a character design. Uh, the differentiation of even some of the side characters being very unique. There's one guy, he's a, uh, restaurant owner, and he's from, from China, and, you know, I don't know if you ever investigated certain, um, ethnicities, but you can really tell the difference of the, the, uh, older Chinese man, he's the restaurant owner, versus everybody else in the world. Like, they, they just really paid attention to everything. Uh, and if you're wondering why we have so many gangsters here, it's because our threat level is really high right now. Let's go ahead and grab this, and let's see if we can knock somebody out with a big-ass cone. Uh, you know, so these little moments right here, ooh, ooh, make everything so worth it, guys. I'm telling you. Uh, but visually, this game is so pleasing. It is uh, It's very smooth frame rate. I haven't had any frame rate dips at all. Uh, the world is just like this. It's, it's, it's breakable. Um... When you beat up these guys, they do end up like kind of flopping everywhere. So the physics is, is the physics is awesome, uh, and it's really great. It's really great. Now, last piece that we'll touch on is the audio. Now, the audio is very, very much top notch. Uh, the the fighting, the fighting in the game, the the sound effects is awesome. The voice actors, we're playing this actually. Ooh. We're playing this dubbed. Uh, you can choose to have the Japanese voice actors on here, uh, which are super top-notch as well. Ow. Which are super top-notch as well. But honestly, I went with English because the voice acting, they really put a lot of effort into this. And it really comes through. The voice actors don't feel out of place. Everything is voice acted really well from Yagami, which is the main character, to his side characters, to even the people that you just end up meeting in the world are really, really well voiced. And I really appreciate the work. So I have been really enjoying this uh, from beginning to where we are now with the dubbed audio. So if you don't want to read subtitles constantly, um, then this game definitely... Uh, definitely will uh, be attractive to you. And even though, you know, it is what it is, um, that's that's really all I can say for the audio there. Now, the one thing, I, the reason I pause, the one thing I will touch on is in the world, there are still, uh, there is still Japanese dialect. So the some things that aren't specifically voiced, they'll have little grunts and sounds and things like that that are still going to be in Japanese. Uh, I think if, I think it provides a, a, a kinky, um, like uh, it, it's like a, a a weird thing that it provides to the world that I think is really cool to where like you you'll still hear people speaking Japanese as you pass by but if you interact with somebody it's in English obviously I actually really like that uh, I think maybe it could have been a cutting corner thing as you know you can't voice everything in the game but I actually really like that so it gives me a little Japanese but with not having to read subtitles so that's my thoughts uh, there and audio top notch music top notch. Uh, sound effects top-notch uh, all of this really really well curated uh, really well top-notch and you can even collect CDs in the game uh, And there are some music tracks and certain music in here that uh, is really really good, too. So uh, audio top-notch so Last thing I want to say is answer the the question that you came here to the video to watch and uh, to get an answer for now Is it is it worth it? Yes, should you buy this in 2019? Absolutely. Uh, I think a thousand percent. This is one of this is going to go down as one of the rarest gems on the PlayStation 4. And it kind of makes you sad that not enough people are going to play this. Because a lot of people who maybe are familiar with the Yakuza series maybe wrote this off already. Um, and people who aren't uh, and, and saw what this game was, they may have said, oh, this doesn't look like it's for me. But so far, guys, this is trending to be... 
uh, my game of 2019. This is trending to be my game of 2019 so far, and that makes me super duper excited. Uh, I, I'm just having such a good time with this game. I put in a couple hours a day, uh, a few hours a week into this game. I think I'm around 25-ish hours into the game. I'm on chapter 7, I believe it is, and I'm just having such a good time with this game. Uh, this hasn't disappointed me at all. Uh, I, I just love this game, and I th really think that this is a game that you guys need to buy. Uh, now, personally, I would say, uh, depending on how you are on funds, depending on how you uh, pick out your games, maybe wait for a sale. It's gone on sale a couple of times already, down to like the $40-ish range, $45-ish range. And if you can get this game for about 45 bucks, this is a must-buy. But overall, this game really is, uh, really is worth it. And this is going down as one of my favorite games of 2019. And until another game comes out, this is my game of the year so far. And that's a pretty big, um, that's a pretty big title, uh, for a game of, you know, of this nature that I was completely caught off guard for. And I... Didn't, I, I knew I was gonna like it and it really interested me from the the get-go But I did not know that this was going to rank so high for me now. There might be another game this year uh, Oh get out of the way there might be another game this year fire emblem three houses that may uh, Take that mantle for me for game of the year, but this might be like a close second uh, Maybe third depending if anything else comes out, but the so far uh, let's not die here so far. This is uh, my game of the year and uh, this is a game guys that don't let it pass you up uh, Go get it. This is the perfect time. It's summer if you watch this video uh, It is July. It's summertime right now This is the game to get uh, this is the summer game uh, right now and Dom from the game leaders puts his stamp on it. I'm not gonna give this a rating All I'm gonna give you is is it worth it? Yes, should you buy it? Yes Go out and buy judgment. This game is fantastic and you won't be disappointed I promise you if you like these style of games with deep story great adventures open world with a ton of weird options drones and clubs and ladies a uh, bunch of waifus everywhere. This is a game that uh, you really should be playing if you're a PlayStation 4 owner. All right, guys, that's been Dom from the Game Looters. That has been my stamp on Judgment, and my stamp is go buy it. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. On your way out, make sure you like and make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. God,